I went chasing after the almighty dollar. I went chasing after titles, titles and, and significance. You know, if, I could get a, if I could get a title, I could get a lot of money, sounded good, impressed my family. Uh, it didn't work. I mean, I was at it for, my gosh, 28, 29 companies before I got involved with direct selling. It was the training, the essential training of direct selling, uh, and a, a cliche, perhaps, that the only business that I had seen or experienced in my entire life where the only way you could succeed was by helping somebody else to succeed. I was a clothing rep for 33 years, and I was on the, we did five seasons a year, so I was on the road, oh, probably 35 weeks in a year. I was always wanting to be in two places at once, wanting to do my job and do it well, but also wanting to be home. Um, I still had kids at home, and it was very difficult. Clem could see the benefits of direct selling and the benefits that we really needed in our life because we were both self-employed with no pension plan, no, nothing to fall back on. And um, getting older and realizing, you know, we were going to be in trouble if we didn't do something to change our life. I went to work learning what I needed to learn about this business and I started doing it. And Barb, God bless her, was absolutely tolerant, absolutely tolerant of my doing that. And I was doing some other things at the same time. It wasn't just I was out of work doing direct selling. I was doing some other things. But, but she kept, and we kept, an eye very, very closely on how money got spent and what kind of products we ordered and, and what we agreed that we were going to do with this new business. It didn't take long before we started to mm -hmm. see um, that it was going to work for him. Um, in the, it, it took five years for us to get to the plan that we wanted to, which was getting me off the road. But we saw probably within the first year that it was something that would work for us as a couple. We began to grow. We began to attract people. Barb's use of, uh, of the products involved, I mean, just naturally we began to attract people to our own personal testimony. I didn't grow up selling products. I was always in the background. I was doing plans and I was scheming and devising things, but I never was in direct selling myself uh, to any great extent. So it was, a, it was a barrier to me in terms of fear of failure. Was I going to say the right thing? Was I going to present something in the right way? And the only way that I could get beyond it myself, and I, it succeeded in our business, was to use the products so that it was the product that became the agent of the conversation, not me. We hear that so much, yeah. I can't sell, or I don't want to sell. That's when you build a relationship with somebody and say, you know, try what, we, we, what we're offering and see if you like it and see if you would if you feel good enough about what you're using and trying that you would feel comfortable telling your neighbor or your your relatives or your friends that's what selling is our business provides everything in our lives um, we went through a period where frankly frugality doesn't quite cover what we had to do to keep going uh, but we've, we've gotten past that now. Uh, and we're now moving towards a point in our life where the real payoff of the residual income is going to become very, very valuable to our lives. And I, I mean, I, I find myself at, at my age, what? Very late 60s, saying I really don't care what they do with Social Security. We've kind of got that pretty well taken care of. Our business, which I think is true of many direct selling businesses, is kind of, recession proof. It probably wouldn't be fair to say that money is accidental. I mean, it's still a, a prime drive underneath everything, but uh, it's, it certainly isn't the real riches. The real riches, I think, are the relationships primarily between ourselves and our family. I mean, the amount of time that we have to spend with our family and the amount of time, frankly, that we spend giving back to all of the people that we interact with. And there are some wonderful stories that none of us have time to listen to, but th that really are testimony to that. That's, that's really where I think the whole business of direct selling has become a, a big success to us. I feel very, very positive about our whole business and where we're going. I feel the best is yet to come. I, I don't think we've even approached it. And I think a lot of it has to do with more people arriving at a sense of legitimacy for direct selling. And I think that is going to come. 
because I think it has to come because people are seem to be grasping at straws to try and find ways to make more money to cover things that they can't they can't afford. I mean, I saw something that 70% of the the senior population today has nothing saved whatsoever. And that's going to become a reality. Who pays for that difference between retirement and the end of your days? So I, I think direct selling, as it becomes more legitimate, as people realize how legitimate it is, is going to do nothing but, but good for us. More importantly, it's going to do nothing but good for them. Then that's how it's going to do good for us. It's what we've become because of this business. We've really become, I think, the people that we were all along, but we were getting distracted by other business interests along the way. And direct selling is giving us that. It's giving us the chance to be us individually and collectively.